a round of interview roulette. Yeah. Sweet. Ravy, who is a, uh, a shark fan. Enthusiast. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes. And, so, and a shark attack fan. Oh, right. mm-hmm. big fan. Oh, yeah. Anytime there's like a story about somebody in the water getting attacked by a shark. Oh, well, they're just sharking. That, well, wrong. they are. She roots for it to happen. She doesn't even like, actively yeah. root for oh, really? it. Oh, really? Especially yeah. if it's kids. Really? <laughs> Especially if it's kids. We have not <laughs> We have not been down by the ocean, and you have said, I'd love to see a shark attack. Yes, but usually okay. there's okay. like a sea lion it's, out there or something. No, there's people in there. People. And, and you have kids. Not, you have not said, I'd love to see a shark attack right yeah. now? No. Ah, oh, uh, why? Okay. Number history. one, right. we've never been to the beach together. We've um, by the uh, 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 that is yeah. That well, is you know, you've, been to, you've been to boardwalks and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, not, not you haven't been out swimming together, but you've been uh, to boardwalks. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can name a number of occasions. Only when sea lines together. are there. Okay. Anyway, so Ravy's a big fan of sharks and shark attacks. That's why I was looking forward to talking to a shark guy. Well, this is a first aid shark guy. How yeah. did this come about, Menace? You so found this guy. This was, yeah, yeah, I got a pitch. Uh, for an interview about a guy like how to survive a shark attack. Okay. Right. So, and I was like, oh, this is this is pretty good. And so right I sent it to out. Yeah, so I sent it to Seabass to check out. And this is and a medical out. doctor and yeah. and a and his wife who's a nurse and they have written a some I what I gave Woody. We bought their book. Jesus, this thing is substantial. Huge. Uh-huh. It's, it's called the Survival Medicine Handbook. And basically it is field medicine. Essentially, all right, including how to survive shark attacks. It is six hundred and seventy-eight pages. Yeah, yeah, that's. But what, what, what Menace is kind of hinting at, and what Raby's hinting at here, is a lot of these people who have, in this case, a legitimate medical doctor with expertise, they'll glom on to things right. like Shark Week. There's two pages in there about a shark attack out of seven hundred. Out of seven hundred. <laughs> but this guy, to his credit, as we we're about to hear, he yeah. he knew a lot about sharks mm-hmm. and how to survive shark attacks, and I'll that's where the interview. Spiders, came. Greg. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Good. Useful. All kind of. Oh. Female genital issues, Sammy. Oh. Yeah, study up. So you can look. Look, it even shows where ovaries are. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so now, now you'll know. So basically, if you have this book, you know, and you're a prepper type, oh it, it, it can help you out. You know. Yeah. So all the questions for this guy are written by other people other than Ravy. So she just has to uh, get the question from Seabass, read it as is, and try to make the interview work. In this round of interview roulette. Let's uh, start with Ravy and this doctor. Dr. Alton, by the way, is his name. Dr. Alton. We're talking with Dr. Joseph Alton, who, along with his wife, Amy, have compiled the ultimate survival medicine handbook, the essential guide for when help is not on the way. This book is 700 pages. And there are two pages (laughs) that sparked my interest. We're going to concentrate the conversation on (laughs) shark attacks. If you're a woman and you're on your pier, is it a myth or reality that if you're using tamps, you should stay out of the ocean? (laughs) (laughs) Because you do hear that. Oh, you know, don't go camping on your pier if you're bears. (laughs) And don't go swimming. Just stay in her voice. (laughs) And you're on your pier. (laughs) Yeah, Ravy was not a happy camper, speaking of which. Too bad. My interest, we're going to concentrate the conversation on shark attacks. If you're a woman and you're on your pier, is it a myth or reality that if you're using tamps, you should stay out of the ocean? (laughs) It's like chum in the water, kind of, you know? That's that's, 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 that's what you hear. (laughs) Why are you so mad, Ray? I'm just listening. (laughs) I lived it. I, you know. I'm saying if anybody else has been, you know, given that question. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's also what makes it partly. I just wouldn't have cared if he answered. Asked oh, no, no. All I right. didn't care either. Let's huh? see if we can get an answer. If you're a woman and you're on your pier, is it a myth <laughs> or reality that if you're using tamps, you should stay out of the ocean? Well, the truth of the matter is, if it's anything significant, if you're having a, if you're having a heavy flow, probably is not a bad idea if you're going to areas where... There have been sharks reported. What's with this guy? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, seriously, I'm just thinking oh, like. Uh, Whoa! I had no choice. He's just an study. older guy. Oh, uh, yeah. I had He's... no choice but to study a lot to be a doctor because they really didn't have much of a social life. How dare you? His but I wife... ended up with uh, Amy Alton here. <laughs> so his his the doctor says seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he says. Great doctor Garrett. says probably if you're on your heavy flow, don't yeah. go into the ocean yeah. if you're near sharks. And you're yeah. up using tamps. Right. Exactly. <laughs> 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 so, hey, maybe, maybe a little bit more reality than we thought. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Interview roulette. Uh, so, if you see a shark in the water, would you recommend giving a shark a donkey punch? <laughs> <laughs> That's in the back of the head, right? So, I've heard, like, where you want to, like, uh, gouge the eye. 
or punch him in the nose. But the donkey punch, that's the back of the head, yeah, I think right? that'd be, yeah. that would work more for, like, mammals than it would for fish. <laughs> I can have. tell by the reaction. That must have been a menace question. <laughs> yes. It <was>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find out. If you see a shark in the water, would you recommend giving a shark a donkey punch? Uh, well, actually, remember when you're punching a shark in the nose, you're getting awfully close to the mouth. Oh, whoa. So I would try to get it right in the eye. I try to jam my thumb in there as soon as possible. <laughs> or the gills. The gills are very, very sensitive. So if you could stick your hand in the gills, and try to pull them out, try to oh. actually rip them out. That would be very painful for the shark, and it might just decide that you uh, are not worth the trouble. Or oh, okay. it'll piss them off and leech you in one bite. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, yeah, it, it sounds, if you have the sounds time, heinous, yeah. but if you're going to die, you might as well. Yeah. Wherewithal, you might as well take it. it with you. Yeah, right. not not the time to be squeamish. No. Yeah. Gouge <laughs> eyes, you rip gills. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Wet suit full and of Rady, poop. you should have corrected the, doc the doctor there. Donkey punches to the back of the head. Yeah, the snout, he says, actually. you're not getting, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <Let> me... <laughs> oh, no, Excuse doctor. Me, doctor? <laughs> uh, medically speaking. Well, he obviously didn't hear the, like, he had his answer ready to go. He's one of those guys that will just answer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, donkey you know? punch to the back of the shark. <laughs> All right, it's uh, interview roulette. This is Dr. Joseph Alton. Uh, do you know which shark has the largest penis? <laughs> There were 15 questions about penises. And, you guys and what's wrong with that? Well, there's a lot of medicine, Greg. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, so I don't think Sammy wrote a penis question. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I would say the great white shark has the largest penis. Okay. Uh, and I, I might be wrong about that, but I have seen the body of a great white shark that was about actually 11 feet. And that's a big old penis. And by the way, they're not called penis. They're called claspers. And uh, there are two of them. Okay. Called what? Claspers. Claspers. <laughs> Claspers. Yeah, so All right. Like, do a quick Who Google image search. See, this this doctor, while he may not be a medical doctor, he does his shark research. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he knows. <laughs> he knows what's up. All right. Uh, interview <laughs> roulette. Ravy talking to this uh, first aid shark guy. What should you do if you find yourself completely swallowed by a shark? First of all, swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> Ravi is just sitting here, stoic. What? Not, not like the biggest poker face you've ever seen. What are you talking about? You are trying not to even crack a smile. This... You are on purpose trying not to. This is not my favorite bit. It's oh. never been. Uh, Can't you at least enjoy Menace's enjoyment? This is my yeah. favorite. Rick is so happy right now. Oh. And you're really good at it. 412 says, Ravi, we are so laughing with you, I, not at you. I was yeah. excellent at this. I you did are. a fantastic job. You do. Yeah. Agreed. I, I am awesome at this. You really are. What should you do if you find yourself completely swallowed by a shark first of all swallow <laughs> <laughs> wow well you probably need to He's get good. one of those prehistoric sharks uh, like megalodon what the meg uh, to too that. is coming but out the meg yeah I, and you know what i'm gonna watch it right. <laughs> oh i thought he was mega getty uh, yeah because he laughed <laughs> I think he's just oh, saying that would have to be a big, big show. Right, right. That was that his be... wife sitting there too because she's like a co-author of the book. She was not there. Oh, oh, I was okay. gonna say. Yeah, she's yeah. She said she does more like the other mm. stuff, the prepper stuff. All right. Okay. Obviously, the doctor right. picks the doctor yeah. stuff. All right. Interview roulette. <laughs> Do you think a shark is gonna come after somebody who poops in the ocean? <laughs> but uh, that's very interesting. There is a lot of controversy <laughs> regarding that. Oh, it's possible oh. that sharks may be attracted to urine and feces. There mm. actually have mm. been a couple of studies on that. One says no, one says yes. So, well, we just have to leave it at that, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. Maybe they would smell like uh, they would think it's food or something. Yeah. Right? Well, that's what the doctor's saying is there are yeah. signs, yeah. not confirmed yet, but, you know, don't poop in the ocean, people. Oh. I mean, there's some catfish bait that smells straight like. Or, caca. you know, like uh, how uh, fighter jets have, like it can throw, like if there's a missile. Like uh, tracking the plane, they yeah. can they can throw it off by yeah. like flares. Uh, those flares oh, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Like maybe if a shark is like in the area, maybe you poop so it starts floating away and it chases that. Oh. Or you make it smells oh, a smoke distraction. Yeah, because yeah. it thinks. Yeah, because While it thinks you go it's, the other way. Yeah, because it thinks it's food. Gotcha. Or you know like I mean? the James Bond when he ejects oil from the back and it right, like, like a little, makes a little diarrhea okay. cloud. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, interview roulette with Ravy. So other than survival tips in general, they're all fine and good, but I think marijuana basically cures everything, right? <laughs> I'm always like, blaze it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we talk about herbs and a lot of remedies that use herbs in our book, and you know that marijuana has a sedative effect, and if you were, let's say, the medic in a uh, 
a zombie apocalypse situation, if sure. you had some marijuana on board, you know, you might be able to deal with the anxiety uh, that uh, a lot of people would have in a post-apocalypse setting. All right. Okay. Mm. All right. That made sense. Terrific. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> nice. Nothing to do with sharks, but all right. Mm. Uh, yeah. We've got time for, uh, for one more question. It's interview roulette. Ravy talking to Dr. Joseph Alton. His book, The Survival Medicine Handbook, The Essential Guide for When Help is Not on the Way. We've talked about what you should do. You should get this person on the beach. You should lay them down. You should try to keep them from going into shock. But um, what if they're <laughs> themselves and having a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, what about that? Yeah. <laughs> what about that angle, Doc? Yeah, put pressure on the wound, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. I get it. Mm-hmm. What about it? <laughs> so deadpan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's man. the professional aspect. Yeah, that was so deployed. good. Yeah, yeah what, should, what should you do? Well, then you have to deal with the heart attack aspect of it, and <laughs> you have to know CPR. Yeah. Every, everybody should know first aid. That's something that's very important. Oh, a lot, and there are lots of good books about it, good videos, things like that. Uh, of course, they're not like our book. Our book uh, takes yeah. into, into account the possibility that the ambulance might not be heading in your direction. Yeah, but does the uh, oh. does the book account for all the caca? Yeah. What about the dress? caca? About the yeah. cleanup? I mean, there's <laughs> the seven. Duty. The, Pooping. Look how heavy this thing is. Wow. <laughs> that is 700 pages. Nice. He's so nice. Not one He's, thing in there about he, all the dump. He, he has it covered. <laughs> Nothing about Nothing. the feces. <laughs> <laughs> It is honestly like a, a survival guide for doomsday preppers. Like, okay. think about Ted Kaczynski living out there in a cabin. He would have like that Like, that's who yeah. could benefit from this book. Yeah. Well, uh, Ravy, nice work. I, I awesome. thought it was yeah. excellent work. Thank we you. learned so much. We learned so much. You're yes. a woman and you're on your pier. Is it a myth or reality that if you're using tamps, you should stay out of the ocean? 